Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new video. I'm Brendan Lee and today I'm going to be launching this brand new series on my channel called Racecraft. What it's going to be about is focusing on overtaking, defending, ERS management, tyre management, everything I do to maximise my pace in a racing situation to try to get to the end in P1. Finishing races in P1 can lead to championships, so we, we all like it, don't we? Let's be honest. So, I'm going to do my best to educate you at home on how to improve your race craft. Today, I'm going to be focusing on overtaking. I'm going to be taking my own examples from racing in PSGL. PSGL is a platform that F1 Esports drivers use to train pre-season the official F1 Esports World Championship. So the drivers here are top class. So, let's get into some overtaking. How am I going to be doing it? is taking the overtake and explaining my mind, thought and process on how I'm breaking down the scenarios so then hopefully you can take some lessons from it yourself and improve on it going forward into your next races. Let's look at some overtaking. Kicking things off with the most simple overtake of the whole video, up behind Jack West, the most additional overtake as well, ERS, DRS is enabled and we're going to be flying past him on the straight. He doesn't even defend so all we have to do is make sure we don't outbreak ourselves in the corner and the move is going to be lovely jubbly, sweet as anything, job done. Second overtake, Daniel Perez now. You can see he is going to be defending down the straight. And we do have the ERS, DRS enable. And we're going to outbreak him around the outside. And that is going to be the move done. We had a big overspeed, so still was fairly easy, all things considered. Next overtake, Marcel Kiefer and Van Urban. You can see the cars are fighting up ahead. And now my job is to maximise the exit potential of the car as much as possible. Open up the ERS, open up the DRS, pull to the inside before they realise I'm there. And now my job is to spot the breaking point coming down into the right hand. And we do that, hit the apex nicely and do not run too wide. Otherwise, we risk pushing our competitors off the track. And that would be against the rules of the steward. But now slowing it down to explain it in greater detail. I can see Josh Iadu and Van Irvin are battling up ahead. You can see Josh is pushing Van Irvin wide. Very aggressive racing, but I think fair racing on the limit. But now Marcel Kiefer is going to be side by side with Van Irvin. And you see, we realise this. We make sure we get the best exit possible. Look at... The, the ERS overtake button, we enable it straight away as soon as we have the confidence to go to full power and we pull to the inside before anyone can defend the inside line. We take the opportunity, look across at us and the move is going to be done. But now, looking ahead to later actually in the same race, we see we've got a massive train of cars up ahead. Wilson Hughes is behind directly ahead of us. But now we're going to be reading the situation. And you can see what I'm doing, putting to the inside line. It's watching how many cars are in the train are battling into the breaker zone. You can see everyone is Constantina up on the slow apex of turn one. So what we're going to do is release the brake pedal, go a bit wider, take a longer line through turn one, but a higher minimum apex speed and hope that this can give us enough purchase, enough traction to go around the outside of Wilson Hughes. And it actually does. Wilson got caught up and everyone Constantina and battling into turn one. So we was able to slide up the inside of him for turn two and be able to get the move done on traction. Nicholas Longay did spin ahead what made a bit of a distraction but we was not affected by that. Now again same principle of the overtake up behind Avaro Caraton on lap one of Austria in a league race we've got to go to the outside as late as possible reading the cars ahead and Avaro Caraton does give us the space on the outside so big respect to him, big fair play he's a very respectful racer, great driver as well so be able to watch out for him in F1 Esports as well because he's a top competitor, I highly rate him but now, you see, looking on the slow motion replay ahead, I'm watching the cars ahead, all battling, knowing that Caraton has to brake early because he does not want to risk hitting them on lap one. And you see, we exploit that, go round his outside, get on the power as early as possible, open up the ERS button, and that is going to be moved done. But now, my final part of the video is actually not going to be about overtaking at all. I actually lose a position in this whole process. But what it is about is knowing when to back out from an aggressive overtake. You can see we're side by side, pinched the inside of the track on lap one of the Bahrain League race. And you see we decide to skip across the grass, losing momentum. And this is going to cost me the position to Thomas. But that is far better than spinning out of the race and being dead last after the first sector. But we are going to try and go around the outside of Thomas once again to try and regain that position. But Thomas on the inside has better traction. And you see going up to the fast right left. You see we back out of that. Try to do a switch back to see if he makes a mistake. But he isn't going to do that at all. He defends the inside again. We try to go to the outside to be opportunistic. But again great defending from Thomas. Doesn't give us the opportunity to get us the position back. So there we have it, a good few examples of overtaking and different examples and scenarios that you can use to play out. As that last clip was suggesting, knowing when to back out from an overtake is as much critical 
as it is to be able to perform overtakes, really, because you can perform 10 amazing overtakes in a race, but if you make one mistake and crash into someone, that's the last thing that you remember, and you'll be finishing outside the points, most likely. So, remember, try and keep your best, keep a calm, cool, and collected head while racing, have some fun, have some send it moments, and post them on Twitter, because why not? We all like to see a good send it on Twitter, don't we? So, have an amazing day. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and like below. And I will catch you next time. Glad to see you, Ashley. Ciao, ciao.